We want to take this time to welcome everyone to Carrie and Amy's wedding. We've gathered here together at this place and at this time to celebrate with Carrie and Amy the completeness of their love. Carrie and Amy affirm before witnesses of earth and heaven that they believe God has proposed that they should share in life the bonds of marriage. Join with me as we pray for God's blessing over their marriage. Lord, we thank you for this beautiful day, and we stand here so grateful for your precious gifts of marriage. Amen. As I met with these two, uh, I, I wanted to go in the Bible and find a scripture, and I found one I think is appropriate for, for, for these two. Um, it's John 15, verse 13. Greater love has no, no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. Especially this bit that often gets cut out in wet wedding verses. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friend. We talked about it. The question was asked, surely that's not appropriate for wedding. And the answer is few things are more appropriate because here are the truth. Chances are you will never have to give up your life for your spouse, but you will have to give up yourself for your spouse. This is a wedding and a wedding is not a marriage. Marriage is daily giving of oneself, daily solving problems and serving one another. Amy, today you will give yourself to Carrie. And Carrie, today you will give yourself to Amy. Marriage is a gift, a gift that uh, to give yourself of your life, and it is not just today. Every day from here forward, you must continue to give yourselves to one another. That is a marriage. It means letting go of petty fights, who's right and who's wrong. It means putting your spouse's interests, their wants and desires and happiness ahead of your own. It means carry that Amy's happiness is more important than yours. And it means before you smile too much, Amy, that Carrie's happiness is more important than yours. That's marriage. That is pre precisely what Jesus means when he gives his disciples their own commandments to love one another. That is what Paul means when he tells us to be clothed in love. That is what means to become one flesh forever joined together. Emotionally, spiritually, and physically. Do you promise to laugh with her, not just at her? <laughs> I do. Do you promise to hear her and not fix her? I do. do you promise to love her with your mind and keep your mind focused on her? I do. do you promise to care for her in sickness and in health? I do. do you promise not to take her for granted? And lastly, do you promise to do everything in your power to have an all-in relationship? All right now, Amy, your turn. Do you promise to strive to meet his needs emotionally, spiritually, and physically? Do you promise to love Carrie now and forever? Do you promise to laugh with him and not just at him? <laughs> Do you promise to hear him and not fix him? Do you promise to love him with your mind and keep your mind focused on him? Do you promise to care for him in sickness and in health? Do you promise to take him, to not take him for granted? Do you promise to forgive quickly when you are offended? Do you promise to never place any relationship above him? And lastly, do you promise to do everything in your power to have an all-in relationship with him? So I'm going to ask you guys, as friends and family, I'm going to come out here. All right, because I know we live in a small town, right? And, and, and it's easy to, 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 to always hear gossip and stuff like that, correct? Right? So what I ask for you guys to do, that you guys are going to have your own vows. And then you're going to say, yes, we will. Okay? All right. 
Do you promise to do everything in your power to ensure that Carrie and Amy will stay together? Do you promise to have unconditional love for this couple? Do you promise to encourage them and not let them tear them down? Thank you. Carrie, grab Amy's left hand and place it on the third finger and repeat after me. Amy, I love you. Amy, I love you. As I love no other. All that I am, All that I, am. I share with you. I take you to be my wife through health and sickness, through plenty and want, through, plenty and want. through, joy, and sorrow. through joy and sorrow, now and forever, now and forever. with your fine self. <laughs> <laughs>